Two guy. Two guy. The player. Blackburn. The player I was thinking about was De Bruyne. Yeah, De Bruyne. <sighs> oh, but look, listen up. Who's the best? Don't need an order, but five players that you've played with throughout your whole time at West Ham who really stand out to you. I've got a prediction of what five I think you might say. Teddy. Okay. Tevez. Dimitri Payet. Deck. It's a tough one, this. Yeah, it's so tough. Like, I didn't have Teddy down on my list. Uh, it's really tough. This I'm gonna say just f- just for pure skill. And there's others that I loved playing with. I really did love playing with and, and learned so much from. Like even like Kev Nolan and Scotty Parker and Lucas Neal and many other names. But I'm gonna say Yossi Benayoun. Yeah, what a shout that is! Magic. The fake shot and the twist and the t- <laughs> honestly, mate, he would have you nuts in training. But and he was there was nothing of him. Like if you see him in the dressing room, like with his pants on, you'd think, how oh, does he play for? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like you just, he was so slim and. Sl- but when you've got the ball at his feet, he was special, mate. I bet. Uh, but he, I said, I said to someone earlier, um, so good. When when Carlos signed with with Mascarano. And I, I come back off loan and I, I was started training with him. And Mascarano fa- found it harder to adapt than Carlos, yeah. obviously. And uh, and I was playing week in, week out. Jack, you had to see this guy in training. Like, Javier. He, he was unbelievable. So, but he never really got, he never no, really exactly. got going for West Ham, no, did he? Yeah, but... Remember that game against Palermo, that, I think yeah, it was. No, but even like, when you think of it, we I went back and um, we... We started, not not because I went back, because it was mm. a little time after that, but we started winning and we kept winning and winning. And it, 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 the gaffer didn't even need to change the team. And we stayed up, obviously. But seeing Javier in training, I used to go out every day and think, how the fuck I'm playing in front of this geezer? I don't know. Yeah. Because he was unbelievable, mate. He was unreal. It's strange, isn't it? How some are like well good trainers and then they don't necessarily yeah. turn it on. I think it was just because, like, don't get me wrong, if, it, if, we, if we had Javier for three, four years, like it would have been a matter of time before he played every week right. like he did at Liverpool and Barca do you know what I mean Yeah. but to actually see him first hand in training and you never really know how good someone is until you train with them because week in week out and you see what skill they've got and how mm. good they are he was fucking unreal me and weren't Tevez a little bit the opposite like in training sometimes he'd just be like I'm done now yeah, yeah. Carlos was like uh, uh, how do I explain this like on another level, yeah. But sort of all or nothing, right? But in in a match, he was a fucking animal. Yeah, you know, yeah. like <laughs> you just he was an animal. But sometimes in training, he would just take it easy. Yeah. But you never had to question whether Carlos was going to turn up or not. I think I heard Rio talking about this on the Foz cast, and he said that sometimes in training, they'd just be like, "I'm done now," yeah. and then he'd just go, and then yeah. on Sunday or Saturday and Sunday, he'd turn it on. They score hat trick, and like he's just he was. Like what a player. There's another player we need to talk about. Yeah, isn't we, there? we should definitely talk about just how good was Dimitri Payet. Because we, we didn't get, we got to see a lot of him oh, in the Prem. Mate, he wasn't there as long as. West Ham fans have like this love hate relationship with him because he, he just, I've never ever seen anything like it at West Ham. But then he just, just went. And... Yeah. And the, th- the thing is, the thing is, Jack, with, with Dimmy is he, he come and not, no one really knew. To me, I knew I, I knew of him, but he wasn't like I knew him from FIFA. Yeah, so that. <laughs> yeah. So he come and I I remember seeing him in training, thinking, "Fucking hell, like he's good, like he's good." But you never know how he's going to react in a prem. And then there was a game in Europe that he played, which he didn't play quite well or whatever. Mm. And then uh, Arsenal away was our first game in the prem that year, and we beat him two 0 that's when Reese Oxford had a world, he wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I just thought, what a player! Like, I loved playing with him. We 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 got on so well. Um, he was brilliant. He was fantastic around the training ground with the lads. I mean, he was a fucking. We loved him. Like, do you know what I mean? I it, actually, I actually said to him, Dimmy, look, please, you just go and crack on. I'll I'll do you running. Oh really? Yeah. Don't worry about all that shit. Wow. Me, me and Chaku will do that. 
That's really interesting to hear what the what, what your boy's opinion of him was, because yeah. obviously a lot of fans are a bit tainted with the way no, it ended no, and no, stuff. No. Like, look, listen, like you got you got to understand. Obviously, like I, I think he's made it clear now that for family reasons he wanted to go back to Marseille. Mm-hmm. Which um, the only thing I, I was I was gutted about is that because we had such a good relationship that he didn't come and say to me, Mark, look, I've got to go home. Do you know what I mean? He just sort of. Um, and I'd, I'll, I would never blame anyone for that because family is more important than anything. Um, uh, it was just so I was just so gutted to see him. Yeah. go. Because, was it just out of the blue for you then? Yeah, just just random. He just sort of he needed to get out, you know. Like, and it's it's hard when you're that good to get out of a club because how do you let someone go that good? Yeah. So there's obviously, but he was um, for the for the short time that we had him, eighteen months or whatever. It was just fucking. I just loved it. That goal against Palace. Yeah, but not only that, mate, just what he used to do with a ball and uh, he, he was just phenomenal. Yeah. We asked you your five best players you've played with. How about against? We have, we, we, we've we got another episode coming up in December who we haven't announced yet from, from West Ham. We asked him a similar question. I'd be interested to see if you're up. Against? Yeah, played against, yeah. Any five players. I feel like there's always one player that springs to mind that I feel like most it's got to be Premier there, yeah. players say now. Yeah. Gerard. Skulls, Lampard, Fabregas, two guy, two guy, the player, Blackburn. The player I was thinking about was De Bruyne. Yeah, De Bruyne. <sighs> oh, but look, listen. I could say David Silva. I could say Yaya Toure. Like, yeah, it's, That's, yeah. It's a big pool <laughs> yeah. to choose it's, from, it's, isn't it's it? Not, it's, it's hard to ask me that question because well, I'm just going the ones when I first sort of broke through <laughs> when I wasn't established. And mm. You look at them like. Two guy gave me an absolute lesson when I first come on the scene. I, I I watched him in the warm up. He had his laces undone, his hair slicked back, just jogging about, and I thought I'm going to run all over this geezer today. Taught me a lesson, mate. Did he? Yeah, taught me a lesson. Was I he think. a striker? No, midfielder. Centre mid, yeah. Was he? This right. is this is something we found interesting on the way up. We were talking about what normally when you ask this question to a footballer, if they're a defender, most of the time they'll say strikers. Yeah. We are wondering what someone in the middle would say. Yeah, just other people and in the middle. Chosen yeah. other was, players. Yeah, mate. I could say like. Cristiano Ronaldo, Ryan Giggs, Aiden Hazard, yeah, Aguero. You know, like I could say all these players, but I, I didn't actually personally. I did because I was on the same pitch, but mm. like playing against these centre midfield players is just like the ones you're properly going shoulder to shoulder with. Yeah, two guys such a such a rogue shout that. But that, that's because that's that that. That, that the arse feeling he give me is, is that <laughs> <laughs> when you're young and arrogant and think you're the best yeah he just taught me a lesson he was a top footballer top. And, and, and who's number one on your list then toughest opponent Mark Noble's ever played against Gerard Gerard what man 